One way to grab people's attention is to create a title sequence in your film that really stands out. Today we're going to be creating a double exposure title in HitFilm Express 2017. Today's video is rated 3 stars out of 5 on the difficulty scale. Today's video tutorial is loosely based off the double exposure tutorial that Axel Wilkinson posted on the official HitFilm YouTube channel. If you want to, you can go check out that one, which is a little bit more detailed, it uses the pro version, and it has a lot more things to it than this one. It's also slightly different using his face and a number of other different techniques. But today we'll just be creating this one right here. It's got this moving city skyline inside the image of a gun. So we're just going to start off by creating a new composite shot. We're going to be naming this one the Skyline Composite. We're also going to set the duration of this composite shot to 5 seconds. And then once you're done, just hit OK and it'll create this new comp. As you can see, I've got three Skyline images here. I've just found these on Google Images. And I'm just going to use these together. So the first one I'm going to use is the top one here. I'm just going to drag it down. Then I'm going to get the threshold effect. The threshold effect will make sure that everything's black or white. I'm just going to drag the threshold until we get a good balance in the middle. I'm just going to drag it down so that it's lower in our screen. Next we're going to drag in Skyline 3, which is actually the exact same skyline. So I'm just going to flip this one by going to Transform and unlinking the scale and making the X value a negative. And that'll flip it for us. In the top one, I'm just going to scale it down because it is a really big image. This time I won't apply the threshold effect. Instead, I'll just go for a hue, saturation and lightness effect, and a curves effect. In the hue, saturation and lightness, I'm just going to set the saturation down to minus 100. And in the curves, I'm just going to adjust it till we have some pretty black black points and the sky is white. But I don't want everything to be either black or white. I want some detail in these cities as well. Then go into the layer properties for this and set the blend mode to be multiply. You can move this up if you want above the previous one. I might also adjust the scale and all of this stuff a little bit as well. Finally, I'm going to get the last skyline image and just drag that up on the top. This one is of Sydney, so it's different to the previous two. I'm just going to do the same thing. I'm going to copy these effects and paste them onto here. And then I'm just going to adjust the curves until it looks right. Then in the layer properties, I'll set the blend mode to be overlay. And I'll just scale it up so that it fills the frame. If we move the layer around, we get this really cool effect, like a city within a city. We're going to start keyframing the movement of these layers now. I'm going to hide the top two layers, and in the bottom layer, I'm going to start keyframing the position. So because it doesn't quite fill the frame, I need some extra space on the side so that I can actually scale it properly. So I'm actually just going to have to scale it up a little bit so it fills the frame a little bit more. I'm going to set a keyframe for the position at the beginning by just clicking on the circle next to position. And at the end of the comp, I'm just going to move it a little bit right, just a little bit. And playing it back, you can see it's really, really slow. Actually, I might want it a little bit faster than that. So about this speed should do it. That looks pretty good. Then I'm going to go into the third skyline and do pretty much the exact same thing. Except this time, I'm going to make it faster. So at the beginning, I'll set it to be over here. And at the end, I'm going to make it quite a bit faster. And then I'm going to keyframe the top one, this one, a little bit so it's in between the speeds of the other two. And also, this layer works great as an overlay layer, but if you want to, you can also set it to something like multiply or darken if you want to get a bit of a different result. I might leave mine at multiply for now, but of course, a lot of this is open to your own interpretation. Now I'm just going to go and add a new layer, a new plane layer, make it white, and this is just going to be the background. So that's the first step done. We've got this nice cityscape. Now we're going to create our main comp. So I'm going to create a new composite shot, and then same settings as before. I'm just going to name this one the final. The first thing I'm going to do here is drag the paper texture onto the bottom. I might scale it down so that we get a more detailed texture. And also you can grab something like the curves or levels histogram if you want to fine tune what your actual texture looks like. The next step will be to add on that skyline composite. So just drag that on, and then in the layer properties you can set it to be some kind of darkening blend mode, such as multiply, or darken, or color burn, 
whichever one you choose and whichever one you think works best. I'm going to set my layer to be multiply. Then if you want to, for some added realism, you can grab the displacement effect. Inside the displacement effect, make the source layer the paper, and you can adjust the vertical and horizontal displacement to your liking. This will make the skyline comp conform to the texture of the paper. I'm going to put mine at 10 and 10 pixels either way. And now we need to create another comp for our gun. Go to new layer, composite shot, and then name this one gun. In this one, just drag your gun image, as well as a white plane. Drag the white plane below your image, it's going to be our background. Then you can scale the gun to your liking. Just make sure it fills the frame pretty well. And then on a new gray layer, or you can do it directly on the gun layer if you choose, just grab the threshold effect. The threshold, as I said before, will make everything black or white. Adjust the threshold until pretty much everything is black. Then you can grab the luminance key effect, and this will key out certain areas depending on their lightness or darkness. By default it keys out the darker areas, but we want it to key out the lighter areas. So just select out key out brighter, and you can adjust this if you want, but you can just leave it somewhere in the middle, and it should do fine. Once you've done all of this, you can move the gun into the position where you want it to be in the final shot. So I'm just going to move it over in the corner like this. Then go into the final comp, and just drag in that gun comp. Hide it, and then search for the set mat effect. Drag the set mat effect onto the skyline comp. The set mat effect will make sure that the skyline comp is only visible where the gun is. Just open up, select the source layer to be the gun, and there you have it. It looks pretty good now. You can adjust the position of the skyline within the gun if you want some extra control. Or if you want to, you can make it so that the skyscrapers are still visible over here. So just go into the gun comp once again, make a new layer, a new plane layer, it can be black, it can be white, it doesn't really matter. And then just hide it, and draw a rectangular mask. I'm zooming out of the comp using the scroll wheel, and just dragging to a rectangular mask, like so. This means that the skyscrapers will also be visible in this area. Just show this plane to make sure it's visible, go back into the final comp, and you'll notice the difference. The skyscrapers actually stick out of the top of the gun, which in my opinion looks pretty good. Finally, you can add some text into the top left, just to make sure that you've got your title secure. And that's the final effect. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then be sure to leave a like and comment, as well as share this video with your friends, it really helps me. And if you want to see more videos like this, then just subscribe for more content just like this. I will see you in the next video. Stay shiny. Bye.